Uh, with yeah. with the whole shutdown, you've already you've already said that you don't think the game's going to happen this year. Has this made you think a little bit about uh, after the games? Uh, what what's what's in line for Jacob after the games end and and after competing ends? Oh man, what a great subject. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of people don't tend to think about that. Um, I love the people in my sport, <clears throat> but I think a lot of people tend to be very nearsighted in their idea of, you know, their nearsightedness, they look only a, a year ahead, a season ahead, instead of looking and saying, okay, well, when I'm done with the sport, how do I stay relevant or what do I want to do? Maybe I just want to leave the sport completely. And that's fine. But what do you want to do with yourself? Um, a good example of someone who does not do that. And a good friend of mine is Brent Fikowski. Um, And I tell a lot of guys in our sport this, that, I mean, it, Matt Frazier is great. And I respect Matt Frazier a lot, but it's not because Matt Frazier has won the games four or five years, how many years it is in a row. I respect him because he's a smart individual and he plans things and you can tell he, he's, he's very wise. And the same can be said for Brett, Brett Fikowski because he's, you know, whether he's got second at the games and he's a freak athlete and he's an amazing dude, but he's very smart and very calculated for that. I respect him for it. And so a lot of guys don't tend, guys and girls don't tend to think about that, but I think it's important for people to talk about, especially as an elite athlete, because I can't compete forever. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of um, thought has been put in that. That was one of the reasons why I started the YouTube channel. Um, not only does it allow me creativity and to provide a, a separate platform to bring in sponsors, but it also allows me the opportunity to stay relevant in the sport past it, right? Because it's still a platform where people respect my opinion um, past the spot of competing. Um, on top of that, I've started multiple companies that will keep me relevant in the sport. Um, number one is Midwest Made is my personal programming company where you can literally, similar to what, what is Rich doing, where essentially it's my programming, literally everything I'm doing just a week behind, because like I mentioned, there's no secret to the sauce. You can, I don't care if you see me fail or see what I'm doing. It, you know, it's the work you gotta put in that really matters. And so Midwest Made is another company I started, and then Functional Eating is a company that we're gonna start on Monday. I'm um, actually, uh, a couple days from tomorrow actually. And then we're gonna wow. open up to the public that is essentially like the, pe the people that do my nutrition, um, they don't really do it for anybody. They do it like in-house at our gym and they're great people, great team. And I decided, okay, well, this needs to be opened up to the public, but they don't have the option and the pull to bring people to them, right? So I said, okay, well, I'm going to supply that for you. And then you're going to essentially do the same thing you do for me to everyone else. Like it's annoyingly daily contact, which annoys me, but some people love <laughs> accountability. Um, and yeah, just the other concepts of, um, we're, I'm doing a lot of uh, stuff directly, and that is like I have, um, I'm working with a group of developers right now to develop an app in our space I think needs to happen, and so we've started to work on that. Um, that's going to be really exciting and really useful um, for a lot of affiliates, and so um, we'll do, I'm doing a lot of things in the sport that I think people need to do, and I think athletes need to take advantage of, and I hope that people think about their future as much as I tend to do. Um, because, you know, like, I guess the end of your question to finally answer it is, if there's one thing I would love to do, um, I would love to probably announce. I love that. Uh, I enjoy speaking. I mean, I do that already. I commentate on my watching myself work out, which is super <laughs> boring. But here I am sweating and breathing like a fat kid. Um, <laughs> but I enjoy that speaking and meeting people and something like that, you know, after them competing, it's probably something I would look into is just being like, Hey, Sean. Hey, Tommy. Let's, I want to join up, you know, and that Brent actually did that. Now he's very good at it. I, I appreciate Brent doing it because he's very analytical, looks at it from that perspective instead of a, you know, instead of someone just getting on there announcing and not really having a background in it. You know, I think, I think they used to do that when they had like CBS do it for us, you know, like yeah. kids never done CrossFit in his life and he's announcing for us. It's like, okay, bro, get out of here. <laughs> so something like that would be really exciting. I would, I would enjoy doing that when I'm done. So. I think that'd be really great for the sport because you look at something like football too, where you have some announcers who are professional announcers who are good at their job. And then you're watching a game with like Tony Romo and he comes in and he breaks down what's happening during the play, what he thinks the quarterback is thinking about during this play, his reads he's making. So to hear it from a games athlete's perspective as well, uh, who has that personal experience, I think would be that next piece to kind of, to growing that, that, that piece of watching the sport, which I think it really needs because as I don't know about, you've probably never watched it besides the, the years you were out, but as someone who even loves CrossFit, sometimes watching the CrossFit games can be a little painful, uh, whether it be the announcing Absolutely. or just the, the workouts that are happening. So I think that'd be a great, great to have people who are in the sport start transitioning into the, the media aspect of it. 
they need a color man and I'll be that color man. <laughs> they call it the color man. Yeah. There you go. 